there is this one lesser known result which is sometimes used in number theory as well as permutations and combinations. Now it says if n is a positive integer and let Sn denote the number of distinct ways in which n can be expressed as sum of consecutive positive integers, then prove that Sn is equal to number of odd divisors of n. Now suppose if n is 3, now we can either write this as 3 or simply 1 plus 2. So there are two ways of writing 3 as sum of consecutive natural numbers. And if we take n is 9, we can write this as either 9 or 2, 3, 4 or 4 plus 5. So in this case, there are three ways to do it. Now we need to prove that this Sn is equal to number of odd divisors of n. Suppose we say we have this series of natural numbers 1, 2, 3 up to m and it goes all the way up to m where m is less than n. Now suppose we are talking about sum of consecutive numbers from m plus 1 to n. It can be expressed as Sn minus Sn and this is equal to this number n. Now this is n n plus 1 by 2 minus m m plus 1 by 2 and it is equal to n. Now we can write this as m square plus n plus 2n minus n into n plus 1 equals 0. Now we solve this quadratic. We can write this m as minus 1 plus minus under root of 1 minus 4 into 2n minus n into n plus 1 whole divided by 2 and we have to discard this minus sign so we will discard this minus sign and also since m is an integer it means 1 minus 8n plus 4n into n plus 1 it must be equal to some u square where u is an integer and since we have this minus 1 and it is divided by 2 this u it must be an odd integer so this u it must be an odd integer so we can write 4n square plus 4n plus 1 minus 8n minus u square equals 0. Now from here we will find the value of n. Now this n will be minus 4 plus minus under root of 16 minus 4 1 minus 8n minus u square and this is 4 square whole divided by 8 now this 4 and 4 will cancel and this 1 will also cancel. So again we can write this as minus 1 and we will take plus sign and it will be under root of 8n plus u square whole divided by 2. Now again this n is an integer and if n is an integer it means 8n plus u square it must also be an integer and it is equal to this v and since it is minus 1 plus this number this v is also an odd integer. So we can write this 8n as v square minus u square and it is v plus u into v minus u where v and u are odd integers. What we will also do is we can write this 2n as v plus u upon 2 and this is v minus u upon 2 and let v plus u upon 2 be a and v minus u upon 2 be b. So if we add them, 
basically a plus b is v and a minus b is u and we know that both v and u they are odd integers that means a and b must have opposite parity so a b have opposite parity which means one of a b is odd and the other is even so we have 2n equals a b where one of a b is odd and the other is even so if we have any number n which is 2 to the power p 3 to the power q 5 to the power r etc and 2n will be 2 to the power p plus 1 3 to the power q 5 to the power r now we have to write this 2n as product of odd number into even number so what you can do is if we can choose odd factor from this the remaining factors they will be even and they will go to this other number which is even so basically number of ways of expressing n as sum of consecutive integers will be equal to number of ways of getting these odd factors of 2n and since there is no role of 2 in getting odd factors so basically odd factors of 2n is equal to odd factors of n so number of solutions of this equation is equal to number of odd factors of n so there is this one standard question which is generally asked number of ways of writing 720 as a sum of two or more consecutive natural numbers now we can write 720 as 8 into 9 into 10 now this is 2 cube into 3 square into 5 into 2 so it will be this 2 to the power 4 into 3 square into 5 to the power 1 now number of odd divisors it is 2 plus 1 into 1 plus 1 which is 6 and since it says sum of 2 or more we have to subtract this one case when you have taken 720 itself so number of ways of expressing 720 as 2 or more consecutive natural numbers will be 6 minus 1 and that is 5 which is the answer to this question